Cape Cast. It's very important not to touch any part of the balloon except for the nozzle here because it's, the skin is very thin and it could pop. We just attach it to the nozzle here and then I'll start inflating it with helium. And it'll inflate with helium for about seven to 10 minutes. The weather balloons are called radiosons, and what they do is they go up in the atmosphere and measure temperature and wind and relative humidity at all different pressure levels. This is really important information to forecasters because, for example, it can tell us whether it's an unstable kind of day. We know that weather doesn't occur always at the surface, it's everywhere. And so if the atmosphere is cooling much more quickly than normal, then it's an unstable kind of day, and the Storm Prediction Center out in Norman, Oklahoma, for example, might help them issue a severe thunderstorm watch. And that is our main mission, to protect lives and property. So these can be very critical. All right, this is the actual office where we process the upper air data that we get from the weather balloons. And this is the actual instrument, which is called the radiosonde, that we attach to the balloon. It measures uh, pressure, temperature, relative humidity, and also calculates wind speed at directions at different heights in the atmosphere. About 20% of these radio sounds are actually recovered and reused by the National Weather Service. These radio sounds are launched twice a day, roughly 7 a.m. in the morning and 7 p.m. at night, from over 100 places across North America and 800 places worldwide. It's very important that these are launched at exactly the same time, because what that does is give kind of a time-synchronized snapshot of the upper-level conditions throughout the world. Once the balloon bursts, there has to be a parachute to slow down the descent of the radiosonde back to Earth so it doesn't damage any property. And it's just a simple orange parachute that you probably played with when you were a young kid. <laughs> Once it reaches the top of the atmosphere, it'll be about 10 meters across, which is about the size of a small house. The reason that happens is because the increase in pressure in the atmosphere causes the balloon to expand as it rises. Since the new radio sounds are GPS radio sounds, what we have to do is we have to hang it on this hook outside just so that it remains in view of the sky so it remains uh, locked onto the side lights because if we bring it inside the building then we'll lose the GPS uh, lock onto it. Pretty soon here we're going to see the actual balloon launched and while that's a lot of fun it's good for you to think about all the, the good that they're doing and the importance to forecasting. Balloon is ready and the radio sounds attached, so we're just about to release the weather balloon. In three, two, one, bombs away. This is just this is just where we're going to be able to display all the data that we get back from the instrument from the radio sound. This is just the uh, trajectory plot of the balloon since it's been launched, and this, uh, where it's zero here is a station where it was released. I guess this red line indicates it's moving towards the northeast right now. The orange and green line is the temperature, and the blue is the dew point. <clears throat> you can see how it's really drying out now at the latest latest couple minutes of data. Cape Cast.